absolute passion, this is where it happens. And this is where often the lady of the house comes and she will have her eagle eyes on anything that might not be perfect. So you have to, not only for real health reasons, get this clean, but also you're under a very eagle eye nine times out of 10. So again, the most important thing is with a holiday let, don't get phased, pick a corner, start that corner and work all the way around to one side of the kitchen sink. And then you can go back to that corner and work the same way around to that side of the sink. So these are hot spots, really important. We all know the door handles, right? And this sort of area. Within, the thing that annoys me so much, have a look at that, zoom in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so um, this hasn't been cleaned by the way. This kitchen <laughs> has not been cleaned, but I thought it was a great way of showing what happens. So with, a, with a, a bin, again, always clean the base and the sides, the outside. These bits are so important, look at that. I often come to a holiday let and oh, just awesome. find these, sort of, yeah, not nice. The inside has to be cleaned. You often get leakages with the bin bags and, you know, it just needs a little bit and then it smells and it's disgusting. So again, all these little bits, this is not, you know, people think cleaning is so easy. It is, but it takes a lot of attention to detail and commitment. So then here, I would wipe them down here. You can see the little marks on there. Here is, um, you know, recycling waste. You'll find that people put their fingers on this. Mm. You know, oh, which day is it? <laughs> and then all, you have to wet dry, you know, damp dry this whole top to bottom. Again, like, have a, can you try and capture these fingerprints? You can actually see them. But I don't know if you might want to come from this angle. Oh, there they are. Yeah, you can see them all the way down. Now, with... Another hot spot is here. Can you see? Oh, this yes. is the free. This is the fridge freezer. So you wet dry buff the, the front, and then what you do is you take each one out, and then what, wet and dry it and put it back. I found um, some sausages in a holiday let the other day that have been up here. It must have been for two months. And mm. um, really, it's really, really important to check these trays. You know, even if there might be a little butter tray from. You've got to wipe these inside out. You can see here, look at the dirt. You can see all of that. Mm. And it's wet and dry underneath the, the front. And also these bits. This is where you get lots of finger marks. Work your way up, up top to bottom, top to bottom. And my bugbear is this. Can you just come and, and, and go, look at this? Right. Oh my goodness me. That needs fixing. But can you see you've got on here like little bits yes um, th and here this is the drainage area there's often a little plastic thing that sticks in there but i anti-back that all the time because yes. that's where all of the disgusting germs get taken we'll put that back afterwards um again with <laughs> in a holiday let you must check the drawers you will often find that bits and pieces that people have left get rid of it Get rid of it because it's someone else's stuff. Um, I found one today which which I opened up and it had dripped ice cream all over the inside. Oh Take it out and then put warm water in it. Don't put hot because it can crack the plastic. So warm water, let it all soak and then clean it properly, wet and dry. Remember the microfiber cloths that we use pick up 99% of the bacteria on its own. So as long as you keep changing your dry cloth, as soon as it gets damp, discard it, get a new dry cloth. Okay, so again, the fronts of these. Now, again, the fronts, finger marks. Everything has to look like it's, it's in the most pristine, pristine shop. Everything has to be organized. Every glass should be in the right line. All handles facing to the right. So we would, we're going to reshuffle all this. But every, every single inside drawer looks, must look like it's a showcase. Um, okay, so that's that. All the same cups and the same size glasses. Like There's a few up here that could go down there. Um, it's just making sure everything is in its proper place. That, that I love, that's just so fun. You can just, you know, and also think about, are the cups near the kettle? Are the glasses near the fridge? 
things like that, try and think about if you're a customer, where would I want things to be? Okay, so we've gone around here. Um, fireplace, we always clean out the fireplace. Um, this all looks lovely, um, but if there's too much, it's nice to leave a bit of ash because that helps the next fire grow, you know, almost grow yes. and light properly. Um, so, but if there's too much, you don't want to leave too much so that for the guest has to clean out the ash. So just be conscious of that. Always think about the customer. The, these are hot spots, the seats are hot spots. And what really annoys me is down these corners, little edges. This is, oh, I can already see lots of hairs here. Yeah, so I think there's a, been dog. a dog. Or a cat, yeah. <laughs> both. Um, and then again, you know, you wet dry. These are hot spots, wet dry. Yeah, so you make sure everything looks really neat. This is a real important thing to do. I, again, these get covered in, in plate marks and finger marks. Everyone must be wet, dried, buffed every time. Yeah. And the same for the coasters. And because, as long as they look nice and tidy, that's great. So again, wet, dry, buff. We've already talked about the hot spots on the windows. All the way through, again, wet, dry, buff. We won't look behind there. <laughs> this is, um, I think this is the utility room. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that can be tidied, and, and, but that's a whole separate area. So it's, nothing to do. it's not too bad, but it's okay. It's just, I don't want to go there today. <laughs> so, okay, so one, you go, come around to here and you go to this side of the sink. So I go from chunk to chunk, I'll wet dry. I can already see finger marks through that window. And um, we can see, this is by the river here, so we've got all those lovely spiders and things. <laughs> Um, and yeah, these really annoy me when they're dirty. These just hold so much, don't they? They do. Look, look, if you can just zoom in, look, you can see a hair there, and you can see all the little bits, can't yes. you? So we take, I'm sure you can take this apart, I've that never seen this. comes off there, it's lovely. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, again. But it's the, the toughest thing to clean in the world, I think. It's just so annoying. I tend to just run it under the tap and Why then dry do it. Why people make things like this? I know. It's like, it looks fantastic. It looks like a brilliant drainage, but to clean it, that's a nightmare. Right, okay, yeah. Okay, so again, we come to this side. Again, you open this up. Now, dishwashers. Often you get lots of dirty marks here. Can you just zoom in here? These edges are very, very important yes. to get done. Wet and dry all of this. Um, we always, always clean out. This is the dishwasher drain and it should. All of them are slightly different actually, but this one doesn't seem to, normally you have a, a, a mesh bit like this that you take out separately and then put this in, but I can't seem to. But under here, this is where the dirt, you can often find it here and here. And I really give it a good, good scrub with hot water, a nice lot of washing up liquid, get it really pristine. Um, you might need to put more, a lot of people don't know that you actually do need to put salts in the dishwasher. <laughs> um, and we'll put that back in. Yeah, so you have to put um, salts in the dishwasher. This is an annoying thing as well. They're all made so differently. I think you should just cut this one and, oh, done. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, I always wipe out the inside of this so there's no drip marks there. And you can always put it on a hot wash um, with a rinse aid or something once you've cleaned it so that then it gets an extra deep clean before the next yes. guest comes. A good idea is to put half a lemon in there and then put it on a hot wash. It tends to get rid of all the lime scale build up and disinfect it. A real it. half lemon? Yes, half a lemon. I love it. Does it come out all squidgy? It comes out, yeah, it, and it's all shriveled <gasps> and kind of all, yeah. But oh, I'm going to do that. Oh yes, definitely. I 100% recommend you it. You love lime. Would you say lime or lemon is better than a... I'd say lemon. Um, because I've never tried a lime. And the lemon is more squishy, I swear. A lime is a harder fruit, yes. isn't it? And lemon is bigger, so I figured, oh, it's gonna, <laughs> that makes sense. it'll last in there. I like the logic. Okay, we're nearly there. So, again, we're now going from this corner all the way to the sink. This is a microwave. 
or you've got your usual hot spots at the front. But what I've just actually um, come back from talking to another lady who completely missed, they, they cleaned this, they took this out, perfectly cleaned it, cleaned underneath, but they couldn't, because it was low down, they didn't look up. And that's where the food just splats when it gets too hot, you know, like you get soup, you get, <laughs> and you get all these nasty bits. And literally, a lovely spray, and wipe, let it soak, spray up, let it soak, and then clean it, because it, otherwise it just sticks to the top. Right. So again, chunk by chunk, so I'm cleaning this chunk. And I open this, and remember no cupboard left on turn. <laughs> and um, again, so you either have them all upside down or all the right way up. Yes. Um, I personally don't understand the point of doing this. They say it's because it stops the dirt coming in. But I thought that was what the cupboard was for. That's what I think. Mm. So I would rather, um, I personally like them to be up. And I, again, all the door, ha <laughs> door handles, <laughs> the cup handles the right way. Now, you, I, you do have to periodically wet and dry the back, the sides, and each drawer. So I would, I, in this one, what I'd do is take those two down there and clean that, and then put them up there and clean that. So you just clear, you know, the first um, point in our, our principles is remove items or declutter. Really important. And again, people forget to clean the inside of this drawer. Really important, the insides. Um, with a holiday let, you have a toast in normally. And the toasters need to be wet dried all the way around and obviously the trays need to be completely cleared um and i oh could you zoom in at this this is something i'm very passionate about can you see that yes. that is rust and you can get it away with very without damaging it with a little bit of a brillo pad just very gently a little bit of water on it so it doesn't drip into the machine um, yeah, it's best to turn it off before you do these things. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but you know, just a little bit, and then it just looks so shiny. And then in these corner bits, these ridges, I get my eco cloth and I push all the because crumbs go getting these bits. Yes. Yeah. I like to turn it upside down, and yes. then all the crumbs fall out. <laughs> Absolutely, you can do that. Um, a lot of people like like to do it and um, give the crumbs to the birds outside. If yeah. Recycle. Yep. <laughs> so here you've got the coffee. So you've wet dry buff the, the surface and then you do the fronts. But look here, we always want this bit at the front. Yeah? You either have them all like that or all like that, but as long as it's uniformed. And again, these are hot spots. Yes. Remember people, you open these. And then um, often with tea bags, this isn't too bad, but you get the tea stains inside yes. can i ask what you use to get out tea stains um just just dish soap um dish you, soap and then rinse works? it a lot it works okay but i'd be interested to see if there's a better way of doing it yeah i think um bicarbonate soda with a bit of lemon juice has worked for me so yeah and look at that actually if you look here this has got actually got moldy under here oh my gosh which is quite interesting, isn't it? So mm. always remove things, put them back. Um, again, it's a really good way of finding. Now, the way to test if you've cleaned your surface properly is you come down here and you look. So could you do a little, over here, you're gonna see, if you can get really close up there. This is the level you have to check your cleaner. Yeah. So at the end of the clean, always go this level to double check you've not missed anything. Um, these coffee machines, always remove these, wash them out, dry them so there's no condensation. Um, I have been called out before because someone was so upset because we'd left the coffee pod in there. So to test if it's got one in there, do this and then do that. Um, if it hasn't, brilliant, then you just clean this bit, obviously hot spot here, here the front. Um, I love to clean out the inside here properly mm. and dry it. There's nothing yes. worse than putting water into a coffee area and then just not drying it properly. It, it just defeats the object. Um, so wet, dry bath. Um, kettles must always be empty, always. Nothing worse than stale water when you come in. It also um, creates lime scale buildup if you yes! leave it in there. Mm. So right, and this looks fantastic. <laughs> Nothing there. 
Um, another hot spot is this base here, mm. and often there are water marks here and stains. I don't know why, but that's often a really nasty little area. Um, again, so you, I, again, I do the chunk by chunk. The fronts, you open every single cupboard. Now look at that, isn't that lovely? You've got the iron there, and it's all got, it's all just tied up beautifully there. That's, that's the way to do it. <laughs> and then in here, that's nice and tidy, and, but there are crumbs there, so I will take that out and put them back. Um, washing machine, um, again, all the hot spots. Some cloths in there. Yeah, so always. Now, uh, do you mm. know, that is a real biggie. Often you will find underwear in there. And goodness mm. knows what must not be there. Um, this bit area, I like to clean these out. Um, you can often pull these, actually pull these out, which I'm not going to do now, but each machine is slightly different. Yes. You pull these out and you give them a good scrub. Now, another hot spot is these areas. Look at this. I always wipe out. You don't want any water there. And then you've got this hair. Can you see these hairs? Mm. That, that's all. So we wipe that out, the front, the inside. I like this to be really clean, wet and dry. And then when you do, do the front, it looks absolutely amazing. Okay, so we're now, look, more drawers. And you can see, this is just beautiful. Have a look at this, Vicky. Again, we will tidy and clean all this up. Um, you can see that there's some marks on some of these and there's a few hairs in there. So we just want to take everything out, wipe it down and then put it back really tidy. Love it! Secret That's drawer. a super <laughs> drawer! We could actually use that for the knives and forks. Because that's the knives and forks area, isn't it? Yeah. But that is lovely. So wet and dry inside the front. Yeah, be inquisitive. You need to be an investigator as a cleaner. You might be like <laughs> wanting to know what's there. Um, again, if you could take a picture of in here. Can you see the, the little crumbs in there? These are really important to do. Mm. Really, every time you do, as you work your way down chunk by chunk, and must be cleaned out. Um, pans, get the handles all the right way and try and fit yes. them into each other neatly. A little bit of work to do there. <laughs> um, again here, so what have we got? Me being an investigator. All right. Hmm. <laughs> so I suppose when you're cooking, does that go? Um, anyway, what I do want to say, this is um, this is chrome. What do you call it? Chrome. Chrome. Stainless you, steel. Stainless steel. Yes. Because what you did the other day is a blog, and you, I don't know if you've released it yet, but you're going to, on with showing how that works with lime. Yes. Do it. I'm mm. so a fan of that. What I would like to show you is that these come out, and they're much better than the... Um, paper ones because that you have to keep replacing this can go in a dishwasher you can see the grease yes put it on a hot wash in the dishwasher or just scrub it with washing up liquid and hot water if you haven't got time to wait for the wash um so that's the most modern one these days are like that um flashbacks look you can see all the points this needs a really as part of your chunk by chunk make mm. sure you zoom in you'll get little greasy bits like this can you see that that needs to be wiped off. Now, these are our are, are lovely, lovely areas. Um, again, I use um, like the pink stuff paste or any type of astonish paste is even more natural. You put some astonish paste, do a little bit of Brillo paddling all the way around. Let it soak for about 10 minutes at least. And then you'll have an absolute pristine top. So this, you've just discovered these lovely pink gloves. Yes, they were in b and M's. B and M's. <laughs> They are amazing, particularly for cleaning things like ovens. You just, um, I tend to get them a bit wet, yeah. a bit of dish soap, and then just kind of rub all over. Oh my like god! And it all just comes off. Like that, and it's really clean. But yes, this is amazing. So, how wonderful it feels if your hands are actually doing the work. Yes, and even surfaces, if you get sort of tough stains on the surface, and it just lifts it right off. This is making cleaning fun. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I was, I was like, yes, I found them. I found the tool. I need it. I need it right now. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, we have such fun, don't we? And then look here. We've got the, um, again, the hot spots on these. <laughs> look. These. Oh, look at the grease on them. I mean, 
Well, aren't we filthy creatures, us humans? I know. <laughs> so, okay, we're nearly there. Nearly, nearly there. <laughs> okay, so remember, chunk by chunk, each cupboard. Ah, now with these, this is very important. Um, you, you've got these wonderful herbs here. Again, quickly mm. wet and dry them because you don't know who's used what. Put them at the with the label at the front. I like to alphabetise them. I was going to say, do you do that? I do, yes. It's fantastic. So, yeah, I mean, just like when you go into Waitrose or Tesco's, you just see everything in a... Yes, exactly. I love it. So, remember, wet, dry bath. Um, You know, sometimes you find bits and pieces and it's like, what is this for? If you're not... If you're not sure, you don't have to keep all these little knickknacks. I hate going into a holiday like and there's just tons of things that you just never use. Um, so that's me anyway on that. And, and things like this, maybe, I mean, I, I, I always encourage people to take them home. Yes, that wasn't here last week, week so yeah. it's not going to be here but next week. It'd be mm. nice to use it, but it's not really to be left for guests because it's, no. it's just ad hoc. So um, lovely. So we've then done the whole kitchen. Oh, I hate it when the under these are messy and dirty. Always, always put them nicely. I put the handles and you know the spray heads the same way, the height order back so you can see what you've got and just tidy everything up. And also, this other part of mine is when these bits are dirty. Oh yes, the the dusty as well. And it what is that doesn't about? make sense, no. It's gotta be pristine. Mm. Okay, um, so here we've got these. Um, again, a real bugbear of mine is when people don't wipe and clean these and the tops. Um, again, really important, wet dry, they're hot spots. And look, it's like, you oh can see in here, this is from a week of someone yes. being here, but you can see it's just disgusting. Mm. Always properly washed, properly dried, pristine. But coming to the, the final bit here, the sink. For me, the sink is one of the, the most special places because it's where you clean things. So I always spray this with, oh, you can see there's a bit of lime skill here, mm. um, but you can use lemon or you can use, um, I use washing up liquid. Normally that's, you know, eco washing up liquid is wonderful, but I will spread, if you want to do it the eco way, your sink, again, astonish paste, put it yes. in all the way inside. And these bits, you might, if you could just zoom in here, just that you can see there were some hairs and bits here. Oh gosh. Yeah, so we always, I always put um, paste underneath. This is this yes. is the bit where it really harbors the, the bugs on both sides. And then let, so spread it, spread it. And then when you scrub it off with something like this, just scrub it, scrub it, scrub it. It just lifts everything. And you, a ship, uh, you know, a sink must be the most shiny part of a kitchen and dry these bits yes. it has to be supremely dry so that when the next person comes in it's freshly clean there's no bugs there there's nothing going on um i know a lot of people use bleach and they will spread it around um all the areas obviously that does a job but it's not eco so mm -hmm. it's best to try and use other natural ways so sponge paste is brilliant the floors mm. just finally in the edges this is in a kitchen if we zoom in you can see Oh, and, and you can see the skirting board areas. Yeah, can you see the, them? So a nice wipe of them as you do your chunk by chunk. But I will personally always, before I even hoover, I go around the edges with a cloth and just lift everything out. Yes. So that when you hoover, it gets everything. Because like in the bathroom, you know, I said I, I get into the edges. A kitchen is too big to do the whole thing on your hands and knees mm -hmm. you know obviously with time you're a professional cleaner it's not always possible so definitely get in the edges and then hoover vacuum and then mop um, so that's that's beautiful <laughs>